You just saw the heat has made life miserable for people who work outside. And Neil Jones has tonight's top five. I love being outside, especially when it's warm. But when it's 98 degrees, that's way too hot. So here are my top five most difficult summer jobs. Number five, garbage man. Actually, sanitation engineer. We followed waste management driver Chris Wright on his route, and it's clearly a demanding job, especially in the heat. And your body starts to cramp and get fatigued. You, you, you can't even, you don't really feel like moving. And my parents always told me to study hard or I'd end up being a garbage man. Well, it turns out, garbage men make pretty good money. Your parents have been idiots. <laughs> but Chris deserves every penny as he and his partner take care of 750 customers. And that's each and every single day. I, I, touch, I touch the garbage. And they have to load all the trash cans by hand. This is a lot heavier than I thought. Oh well, that's why they invented photographers. Come on, Neil. Number four, firefighters. Summer makes an already hot job even hotter. The demand on you physically just increases tenfold. Now their work clothes help protect them from being burned, but they also make them highly susceptible to heat stroke. 150 plus degrees inside the gear. The bottom line, fighting fires is always tough. It's just a lot tougher in the summer. Number three, road worker. Now this is a tough job in any season, but summer just might be the worst. We can, we can rig you up with a shovel, you can come figure it out. <laughs> Not only do they have to contend with cars whizzing right by them, but all of that done under the blazing sun and many projects require them to work from early morning until sundown. Hey, Roland Park has an opening on this crew, so the least I can do is help out a little. How am I doing? Probably sticks TV. Number two, roofing. Now there's nothing glamorous about laying down shingles. Every other job gives you a chance to find some shade, but roofers are almost constantly exposed to the sun's rays and all that heat. It does pay well, but it's a hot, grueling job. Just like Chiefs Defensive Coordinator Bob Sutton's position last year. It all adds up to a long, hot day. And that takes me to Kansas City's number one most difficult summer job, golf course maintenance staff. You know, the guys you try not to hit off the tee. Oh, God, four! Dodging errant tee shots isn't the only challenge Ethan Shamit faces. The Prairie Highlands Golf Course Superintendent has to take care of 140 acres of greens and fairways. It's just difficult trying to keep grass alive during the summer months. They pump around 300,000 gallons of water onto the golf course every day because dead greens can kill a golf course's business. One little brown spot could cause damage to the greens and then less revenue and less golfers coming out. Now, I play here a lot and the members love me. Well, are you here helping the maintenance crew? I am, I'm helping them out. Well, could you go to number one and mow the rough? It's just too darn deep. I lost my driver in there yesterday. Why don't you hit the ball straight? What? Are you rude to a member? Uh, yeah. I'm Neil Jones and those are my top five most difficult summer jobs.